Good evening, everyone. I'm Neha, Ambassador of Change for Getty, that is Global Education and Training Institute, founded and conceptualized by Dr. Sunita Gandhi with the vision of disrupting the education movement as we know it. Basically, heralding a new dawn that is the Getty family and the Getty Institute for you. We also organize pre-service and in-service training for teachers so that they can spearhead this disruptive education movement. And alongside, under the same umbrella with much enthusiasm, we also organize detox where we invite policymakers, educators, researchers, and various members from the education fraternity to discuss various best practices with us. And today, I am very honored and thrilled to introduce and have with us Ma'am Melissa, who is a math educator and a Gen Global community leader who has joined us all the way from Naples, based in Italy. A very warm welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you, too. I'm Thank very you, happy to be with you. Can I begin? Thank you. Oh, just one minute, ma'am. Ma'am will be talking and condensing her experience in the topic gamification or flipped classroom. I think a very interesting and relevant topic for educators today. And I will just add ma'am's presentation to the screen. And I think officially, ma'am, I have handed over the stage to you and you can take us through the topic today. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Melissa Esposito and I am a math teacher in high school. And I am Italian. I've been teaching for 17, uh, for 27 years and I am interested in teaching methodologies and teaching strategies. I'm convinced that to make a lesson interesting, it is necessary to use the flipped classroom strategy accompanied by gamification. As one of the most popular trends in education, you have often, often heard of the flipped classroom, but what is about a classroom that's been flipped um, uh, that make, makes it uh, unique? The basic idea of the flipped classroom is that the lesson becomes homework while the time in the classroom is used for collaborative activities, experiences, debates, and workshops. In this context, the teacher does not take on the role of leading director. He rather becomes a sort of a facilitator, the director of didactic action. Over time at home, videos and other digital resources are widely used as content to be studied, while in the classroom students experiment, collaborate, carry out laboratory activities. To all intents and purposes, flipping is a teaching methodology to be used in a fluid and flexible way regardless of the discipline or the type of class. It is important that the time gained in class thanks to flipping is used in an optimal way and that the resources used uh, by the students over time uh, at home are high, of high quality as well as being calibrated on the level of knowledge reached up to the point by the young person. And incredibly, the encounter the library with the online videos screened for quality and accessibility in the best starting point for achieving a good final result. A flipped classroom is a type of blended learning where students are introduced to content at home and practice working throughout it at school. This is the reverse of the more common practice of introducing a new content at school and then assigning homework and project. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Uh, are you changing the slides? I'm not able to see the transition of the slides. Are you still on the first one? Uh, is the third. What do students at home? Uh, ma'am, I can still see the first slide that is gamification of flipped classroom. I think that's the title slide. You might have Don't to manually. You you might have to manually go and select the particular slide. Yeah, now I can see it. Yeah, perfect. Do you see it? The yes, third? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I can okay. see the next slide. Oh, thank you. I continue. Can I continue? Uh, wait a moment. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. You can continue. You can continue. Are you seeing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm able to see it and you can continue now. Okay, thank you. Uh, why adopt the idea? 
to while the improvement of educational interactions in the classroom, thus optimizing the time at school to develop and strengthen independent and peer learning, to be able to dedicate more time to young people who need more support. The concept behind the flipped classroom is to rethink when students have success. Uh, to the resources that they need most. It, if the problem is that students need help doing the work rather than being introduced to the new thinking behind the work, then the solution, the flip of the classroom, takes it is to reverse that pattern. What's the simplest way to think about a flip of the classroom? These students do homework at school. Put another way, students preview content home and then extend the learning and or practice at school. But don't be, don't be fooled. Merely flipped, flipping your homework and lecture doesn't mean you are unlocking all the benefits of a flipped learning. True flipped learnings is about opening up class time and transforming it into hands-on, differentiated, and even personalized learning experiences. It all began in Colorado with two teachers, Jonathan Bergman and Aaron Sams. In 2007, they began recording their lessons and lectures and turned them into videos. Then they began to use it in their classrooms, calling it pre-broadcasting. However, Jonathan and Aaron give credit to Ledge, Platt and Trails for their paper entitled Inverting the Classroom for Getting Things Started in 20 Ho Ho. At the time. I'm so sorry, ma'am. So sorry to interrupt once again. I think you might have to manually go to the slides and select them because I'm still seeing the third slide only right now. I hope you're on the I'm some, some other one, I think. Yeah. You see it? Yes, ma'am. I see the, uh, the subsequent slide now. Uh, you know, basically, I think the trick is to go to the particular particular slide, click it, and then maybe you'll be we'll be able to see the next the slides. Okay. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Thank you. Now, you see the history of the flipped classroom. Do you see it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I see the history of the flipped classroom. Yes, I'm able to see that. Okay. At the time, there were just there just weren't enough resources or knowledge around the concept for it to really gain traction. Following 2007, the concept really took off. Various schools flipping their class. A flipped classroom, sometimes referred to as an inverted classroom, doesn't necessarily provide a true flipped learning. It's what happens in the classroom that matters. True flipped learning turns classroom into time into a more individualized experience. Instead, instead of a, an instructor addressing all students as a group, learners move at their own pace or in small groups to apply their knowledge. You see the next slide. Benefits of a flipped classroom. Um, yes, ma'am, I see the next slide. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay. Some of the benefits of a flipped classroom are it is flexible, students can learn at their own pace, take responsibility for their learning. There are more opportunities for higher level learning. Teachers work more closely with students, getting to know students better and providing better assistance. Increase the collaboration be between students. Teachers think that creating or finding the resources to use outside of class is the most difficult part of a flipped classroom, depending on what happens in the classroom instead of a lecture. How can we plan a flipped classroom? To plan a flip of the classroom, you have to follow these three steps. First, you have to decide how will you, you use your class time and design those activities. Secondly, you have to find or create resources for students to use at home. Third, teach students how to use the materials at home. 
flipped lessons can take also different forms. For example, some lessons may take the form of a unit hyperdoc that requires students to progress throughout a series of lessons, components designed to encourage them to engage with and explore content, apply what they've learned, extend their knowledge. Now I want to show some flip the classroom apps for teachers. For the list below, I look for apps that really combine forces to deliver a good flipped learning lesson. It's not just video apps I will be showing you, but apps that tell of you to combine several resources such as video, text, images, links, and evaluation tools. This brings you more than just sharing a, a YouTube video uh, with your students without knowing uh, what inside they are from. Do you see the next slide, the flip of the classroom and the puzzle? Yeah? Or do you have it always in this way? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now your slide transition is absolutely usable. Okay. Please don't the first I want to show you is a puzzle. Uh, flip the classroom with the, the, the puzzle, an easy and a an effective way uh, uh, to deliver videos in your classroom or outside your classroom. Um, it's not just a video distributor. Uh, with the puzzle, you can make the video come to life by adding audio notes and questions. And the puzzle makes it easy to add comments to videos and questions make the video more active with the puzzle. You can use it to empower critical thinking with the students um, um, while they watch this video. Uh, perfect to use in the flip of the classroom. Uh, students uh, can download the app and receive the video assignments directly with questions so they can check uh, their understanding throughout the video. Then I want to, to speak to you about book widgets. It allows you to make uh, interactive lessons, provides strong digital templates of all kinds of interactive exercises. You just have to add your own content. Choose between more than 40 different widgets or exercises to engage your students. Make your own adapted crossword the riddles, video jigsaw puzzles, web timelines, and much more. Bonus, it does the grading for you. You can also put all the exercises together in a web quest. If you put a class, you just share a link with your students and they can start working at home. At the end of the web quest, you can add a quiz to test your real students' understanding. That way, you know where to start in your lesson. You get your students result instantly via the grades and reporting the tab in book widgets. Book widgets integrates amazing with the learning management system like Google Classroom, Canva, Moodle, Schoologist, and Apple School Wars. Another interesting tool is Simbaloo. Uh, helps, it helps you to organize your web or classroom resources in one place. These resources are stored on a dashboard uh, in the form of buttons. This dashboard can be set as a, your own home page, so you can find all the resources you need immediately. It, give, it gives you the possibility to personalize the dashboard. For teachers, Simbaloo has a special section to, that gives you the possibility to create your own learning paths or lesson plans, just share the link or classroom code with your students and let them discover the learning path independently, uh, one from the other. You can add videos, links, book widgets, exercises, and more to the Simbaloo tiles. Then I want to speak to you about uh, Brain Pop. It creates animated resources that support teachers and engage students in school at home and on mobile devices. Uh, their content includes movies, quizzes, games, hundreds of topics within math, science, social studies, English, technology, art and music, and art. 
let's speak about um, Duolingo. If you are a language teacher, this app is this app is even Duolingo is made for teaching foreign languages and was awarded the app of the year in 2013. Google invested a lot of things in this language oh, app. There so are sorry, just oh, ma'am. Uh, I think you are talking about the next slide. I think you haven't pressed it. Uh, are... I don't know why we can see it. Again. Yes, ma'am. Now I, I can see TEDx and Khan. All these. Uh, okay. Perfect. Duolingo, I was speaking about Duolingo, which is a perfect, an app perfect for the foreign language uh, uh, teachers. Um, and uh, it was awarded the, the app of the year in 2013. Uh, students have to set a goal from, uh, from five up to 20 minutes a day and uh, pick if they are beginning or not. If not, they have to take a placement test. Duolingo focuses on words and their translation and is very intuitive. Duolingo is a micro learning app perfect to use, it, to use it for flipped learning. Ask your students to go throughout some lessons at home and talk about it in the classroom. Then we can speak about TED-Ed, is um, TED's youth and educational initiative. TED-Ed wants to celebrate the ideas of teachers and students around the world. Everything they do is with only one goal, supporting learning. They produce a growing library for the, of original animated videos and provide an international platform for to create their own interactive lessons. All the videos made by TED Ed and other teachers are mostly short videos that don't last longer than five minutes. Choose a lesson topic and find a suitable video in the library. It's very helpful with finding the resources and helping you to explain something. Bonus, you get to save a preparation time. The videos ask you, your students to solve enigmas or to think critically. When they come to your class the next day, you have some stuff to discuss. Students can also create TED Talks about certain subjects and perform them in front of their fellow students in the classroom. Then I will want to speak to you about Khan Academy. Started, it started out with the, its famous YouTube videos. Now you can just go to their website and search for a learning video about the topic you want to teach. Choose between subjects as maths, uh, uh, science and engineering, computing, uh, art and humanities and economic and finance. By seeking an app, you can create a classroom and invite your students to take some video lesson and take a quiz after words. This is really handy for flipped learning. You can even follow your students' progress from a distance. Afterwards, you can see what parts of the lesson students didn't understand and explain it again in the classroom with some exercises as well. Then I change my slide and I uh, want to show you my favorite, uh, uh, my two favorite tools. They are Kahoot and uh, Nearpod. Then I'll show you uh, the use of Nearpod uh, during uh, this, uh, my speech. Kahoot uh, is a formative assessment that is extremely important in any classroom, and flipped classroom are not exception. The flipped strategy puts more responsibility uh, for viewing and interacting with the content on the students, and formative assessment is therefore needed after every video. Teachers can create gamified formative assessment activities for their students using Kahoot and assign these activities as homework, which allows the students to play the games individually. Kahoot activities can also be used as a whole class formative assessment. Students enjoy Kahoot because of the, of the gamified component in the activity. And then this is my favorite uh, uh, tool, Nearpod. With Nearpod, you can create interactive presentations, add slides uh, by slide, or choose a special way template you can choose. All those slides make an amazing interactive presentation, especially if you add activities like quizzes, open-ended questions, book widgets, exercises, polls, draw questions, and others. 
What about taking your students on a field trip within your presentation? Just a slide with a virtual reality experience for Nearpods library. When your presentation is ready, your students can opt in by entering a code to in the near Nearpod smartphone app. As a teacher, you are in a charge to, of the presentation. When you switch to the, another slide, the presentation on your students' phones will also switch to that slide. You can also let your students go throughout the presentation independently which more is, is more suited for flipping the classroom. Uh, when your students have to make a quiz or a poll, they can just do uh, that on their screen as it is a part of the presentation. The answers are gathered live, so, so you can see immediately what your students answered and use the, that information to adjust your lessons the next day. Then let's change. <laughs> our uh, uh, slide. WhatsApp or any other social media platform that allows communication, such as a secret Facebook group for your courses, can also help when it comes to flipping your classroom. When students have to go throughout subjects by themselves, they might get stuck a social media platform offers uh, to your students a way to communicate with, with each other and ask questions about their homework. That way, they don't, they don't have to bother the teacher all the time. Of course, you can just make sure to get your instructions right with basically all the apps mentioned above. Then uh, uh, we can speak about the Padlet. After student have viewed an instructional video, it's a good idea to provide them with an opportunity to reflect on the content. Padlet provides teachers with a way to have students not only review and reflect on content, but also collaborate with their peers. And then we can speak about Poly Everywhere is a voting system and uh, a powerful educational tool which can be used in a and, and that to side of the classroom. As a teacher, you have to set up a question on the web interface or smartphone app. Students can see it on their PC, tablet, tablet or mobile phone. Questions can be polls, but also open-ended questions, such as, uh, give me a tip to improve my teaching. Students can respond by using the web app, a text message with a poll everywhere, smartphone app, or even Twitter. You can get instant audience feedback. Another film feature is the ability to make nice charts of the answers. You can easily get started analyzing the, the results. Poll everywhere can help the flip the classroom teacher to keep track of the educational progress of the students. Then I want to speak to you about uh, three other um, uh, tools, which are um, Loom. is a screen capturing uh, uh, software that allows you to make uh, instructional videos, capture your screen or, or your front-facing camera, and narrate it all at once, uh, and then instantly share it with your students with a simple link. When you show something and, and explain it, you make sure you are understood by your students. On top of that, your communication with the students is more personal with nuances of tone and facial expression. Out of all of the screen recording tools, Loom is very easy to be used. Then we can speak of another tools, a tool which is very famous and very um, useful, Wakelet is a tool that allows uh, users uh, to take control of the content that interests and inspires them. Uh, Wakelet users can save content and, and organize uh, it in folders or wakes. Uh, it bridges um, uh, the gap between humans and algorithm to create beautiful and fun content in a personal way. It's a great alternative to Padlet or Storyfy. You can, you and your students can create videos, images, links, and more. 
if, are, uh, if you are struggling to tell stories that are engaging, organizing and expiring wakelet could be beneficial because it tells users to curate customizable content. It also it is also a great tool for keeping research projects interactive and social. And finally, we can speak about book creator. Is it the, it is an, it is the designed to teach students by getting them excited about creating the topics they are learning about. Students can upload images, choose for emojis, make recordings and video, and create them and share finished the book they wrote. These books can take various forms, from digital portfolios to comics and scrapbooks to manuals and collections. The free version the tool allows educators to create a library of 40 books. Book Creator includes many templates. Educators can also use it to assign materials to students in interactive book form. Wait. These were my top picks um, of a flipped classroom tools for teachers. I hope I you the right tools uh, to flip this room and start with the uh, blended learning. Uh, there are three different ways um, uh, of teaching uh, with the gamification. One is the traditional learning. The second is learning flipped with the gamification. And the last is the online learning with the gamification. Gamified the flipped the classroom is the best of the three approaches, which just shows the high potential of combining gamification and flipped the classroom approaches. Now, I want you to show um, uh, specifically one of the tools uh, I love more. My favorite tool is a uh, Nearpod. I can um, close this presentation and I present another um, uh, a real interesting uh, um, tool, which is uh, Nearpod. Follow me, please. I use the most in my flip the classroom, and it it, uh, it contains also a really very interesting um, um, gamification. Do you see my presentation? Uh, yes, ma'am, we can see it. I've added this to this, uh, you know, session. I'm presenting my uh, uh, Flip the Classroom uh, with the Nearpod. Yeah. You can join at uh, nearpod.com uh, and uh, in, insert uh, as a, a student. You can join as a student and you can uh, add this, um, this code and you can see my uh, my presentation. I want to present you a, a lesson about universe and galaxy. And we can see various um, applications of uh, Nearpod. First of all, I inserted the, uh, you can see it on your um, smartphone. We uh, explained before um, uh, teacher materials, uh, while these lessons was created with both live and student paced models in mind, please review the lesson and to ensure that the activities are well suited to your classroom format. Um, the first question, uh, how was the universe formed and what it is, it, is it composed of, of? Then you can uh, participate in these In this poll, students uh, uh, look this poll on their smartphone and they can uh, answer. You can uh, participate uh, as a student and then, and then you can answer uh, how much do you already know about the universe and galaxies 
so uh, teacher uh, looks at the students' answers, and um, you can see here uh, how many students uh, um, answered. Uh, I knew a lot, I knew a little, or didn't answer. In the next slide, I show you a collaborate board. Every student can um, um, explain uh, down, down everything that they know about the universe and galaxy. They can uh, write here, I know that uh, galaxy, etc., etc., and uh, submit. So the teacher uh, looks this uh, like uh, um, uh, like Padlet, and then uh, all students can add their ideas. Yes, about universe and galaxy for it, and the uh, best, um, um, the best idea they see on the on the collaborate board. Then you can see um, an explanation about the Big Bang theory. And uh, the, the teacher explains uh, oh, what is uh, the Big Bang theory uh, with the help of this slide. And then uh, students can answer uh, to this uh, uh, open-ended question. What specific evidence supports the Big Bang theory? And students can enter your answer there. I think uh, that... Uh, and so on. Then can, they can submit, and student, the teacher looks here and see, uh, and he sees uh, uh, the answers of the students. So you can see how many students participated and uh, how they did the answers. You can choose a live participation or uh, and share the code that comes out here with the, the students, and, um, either by copying the link or by sending an email or inviting them uh, to classroom. Um, students enter the app by writing uh, join point near point, near pod point com and access the lesson. Pupils uh, will have to follow the lesson on the teacher's shared screen and participate in the proposed activities to write to the, their devices. And uh, uh, for example, I want to see you uh, to show you. This is uh, another explanation about ga galaxies, and this is this is a very interesting video. You can uh, show them the video. Teacher plays or student play uh, video. When you choose teacher plays video plays and on the teacher's device, so they can answer. Uh, for example, if I choose this, I continue and I show them the video. They can see the, the universe video. universe is everything. The universe From is the everything. Particles. From the tiniest particles to the largest galaxies to the, largest galaxies, to the, very, existence to the very existence of space, of space time, and life. And life. But how, did, but how did it all begin? The origin of the universe is the origin of everything. Then they can uh, answer to the, this question on their devices. So uh, the teacher can see how many students answered, how many students uh, answered in the correct way, incorrect way, and they didn't answer. Obviously, now anyone is answering. Then Multiple scientific the theories continues. plus creation myths from around the world have tried to explain its mysterious genesis. However, the most widely accepted explanation is the Big Bang Theory. What is the most widely accepted explanation about the Big Bang Theory? It is the Big Bang Theory. So they can answer to this uh, question. It is an open-ended question. Then the video goes on. The Big Bang Theory. 13.7 billion years ago, this tiny singularity violently exploded. Then 
you have to answer to this question how many years ago the Big Bang theory, a Big Bang exploded, and so on. And it is from this explosion. I had the um, uh, both. First came the radiation era, questions, named and, uh, for the dominance of radiation for example, from the super force. There is another question, and so on. Then I had the, a theory about the Milky Way galaxy and another video about, about the Milky Way galaxy, teacher place, you can continue. And students can see this video and can st study from here uh, the, the theory about the, the Milky Way. I want to show you um, a part after gamification, a game that students do, and it's called a uh, time to climb. It's here. This is uh, another collaborate board. There is a problem. It doesn't go. Then students can uh, answer to these uh, quits. According to Big Bang Theory, what happens if you reverse the galaxy motion and go back in time? Then students can uh, answer. Then can answer to the next question in relation to us. Galaxy are doing what? Moving, moving towards us. Uh, all the following are shapes and uh, circular, irregular, spiral, elliptical, stars. And then you can submit. Teacher can see all uh, students' uh, uh, results. And then at the end, you can um, reflect about the, the lesson. My presentation is finished. Okay, okay. I thought, ma'am, you were about to show something else also, so I was waiting for you. It's okay. Well, uh, thank, thank you. you so much, ma'am, for that very informative uh, presentation on a very unique topic that is flipped flip classroom, and also for delving into those very wonderful apps that you mentioned towards the end, and also taking us through your favorite app as well. And I think I really liked the presentation in the Big Bang. And since you covered so many aspects and topics in your presentation, I think I'm just left with one question and we can then conclude, which is, uh, I think the importance of training teachers to, you know, handle all these apps and to handle classroom, uh, and, you know, the classroom has been flipped. They have been uh, basically chalk and talk. It's been that, I, I think, especially in the context of India, I would say. So what would be your take on the importance of training teachers so that they're able to, you know, it's really I very important. Uh, I. Uh, I think it's uh, really very important uh, to, yes, to teach uh, to, to these tools. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, absolutely. Uh, and I'd like to teach to other teachers uh, how to use these tools. It uh, should be very uh, useful for every uh, teacher, uh, 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 especially now during this period of pandemic. Uh, when you use uh, the online and blended learning for our students. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And since obviously, the, yes, so the pandemic has basically accelerated hybrid learning and online learning. And I think it's only fair that teachers are, be, are being trained in, or, you know, this, these aspects so that they're, this is basically the future of education. And I think we have to be ready for the future so that yes. we can prepare our students also for the future. 
Well, thank you so much, ma'am, for that very wonderful and informative discussion and for joining us this evening and sharing your thoughts and very wonderful tips and tricks on flipped classroom and the importance of gamification as well. Thank you, too. I think, thank you so much, ma'am. I think the audience must have enjoyed it and people who will watch eventually will also enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining us, ma'am, and I hope to see you around again. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye.